Hello everybody, how you doing today? It's Superfiend here and welcome back to another episode of our legendary Total War Warhammer 2 Techless Campaign. Boy, that is a mouthful. Um, we are going to start this episode off by attacking these High Elf Rebels. They have Swordmasters of Hoath, they got White Lions of Trace, they got some Archers, they got Chariots, they got some um, War Machines, they got an Eagle, they got a lot of good stuff. So do we. Uh, we got a war machine. We have an eagle. We have lots of northern sea guard. We've got Teclas, who's going to soon become, in his next few levels, a, an overpowered spellcaster. It's going to be ridiculous. And we've got a nice cavalry force here. It's not quite as good as their cavalry, but we like unit per unit, our cavalry is not as good. But we do have more cavalry, so we should be okay. Let's uh, let's fight this battle, and we'll see how we do. After this, I would like to stabilize public order in our home province if we can, and I would like to fight one of Teclas' quest battles, and I'd like to see if we can get that uh, settlement to the north from the Blood Hall Coven. I'd like to do all of that this episode, and if we can, it should be a nice, action-packed um, video for everybody to enjoy. Okay. I was like, why is there a map up here? This is legendary, but then I, I forgot it disappears when the battle starts. <laughs> so, Now, this is our garrison that we are attacking with. So let's see. What do we want to do? These, uh, these, these trees. I don't want all these trees. Okay. Let's, um, you know, let's just deploy over here. This guy's on foot, right? Okay, so we're gonna um, come out of the trees here. And let's see, where is the map edge? Can we like get over here with these guys? Oh, we're firing at somebody, the Great Eagle. Okay, we're gonna just try to uh, spin around in circles up here and keep their great eagle distracted. Yeah, we should be able to kill their eagle, right? Oh, we are taking massive fire from the repeater bolt thrower. Holy moly! Okay, now our little lord guy here. Okay, let's keep these guys moving. Now, what can we fire at here? The archers. Okay, while we were doing that, of course, everything over here kind of went to poo-poo. Nine and ten, right? Uh, where's Teclas? All right, how are we doing over here? Did we did we beat their eagle? We did. Okay, we're going to keep firing at this thing. Now, how are we doing over here? Let's see. Swordmasters. We're going to fire at their lord. Everybody's got guard mode. Guard mode is default now in my battles. Okay, what do we got here? Um, go crush this thing, would you? And you guys go crush that one. Now, we got caught over here. By these uh by these knights. So we're gonna come back this way with them. Here's our spears. Okay. So we should be able to kill that. And that, no problem. And our repeater bolt thrower can fire on this now. And where's our eagle? We'll get back on their eagle. Now nah, we doing? We'll stop firing with that uh, war machine. Okay, here we go. Okay, 
Now what are these? Silver Helms and Archers? We got caught by the Silver Helms is what it is. Okay, what's it look like over here? Alright, we're winning over here. Put this guy out front. Where did I get this? All right, we're doing good. Uh, let's go ahead and get some cycle charge. We'll get back on this bolt thrower thing. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, what do we look like up here? It's basically our um, our cavalry is really taking the beatings, right? Cavalry more than anything else. Let's um, there we'll just get those guys stuck in position where they are. There we go. Our archers will completely crush them. Let's go get on those archers. Now what is this? Chariot. Okay. Watch out for that chariot. Get all three of these things out. Repeater bolt thrower can fire on their chariot. These guys got wiped out. Everything over here is fine, right? Victory. Okay. So we took a we took a little bit of damage here with our garrison. That's okay. I don't mind. It'll it'll recharge. I'm more concerned about Teclas took zero casualties and. Uh, our cavalry force lost about a fifth of it, but we may be, be disbanding a few of them, so to save us on the upkeep is what a I'm thinking. Take them captive. Turn them loose. Oh, what do we want? Let's take um. Remove their bonds. Let's take the unit experience. Okay, we'll take the unit experience. There is no limit to my power. Prince of Elfwan. And now we'll uh we'll move this guy. Your orders are reasonable. We'll just go sit him right by Teclas. I think not. Preparing camp. And we got a skill point here. What do we want? Missile damage and speed and charge bonus. It's not bad. Uh, this guy is, he has the upkeep reduction. So we kind of want to redline this guy and build a nice army with him because we get lots of uh, reduced upkeep for putting units in his army. Hi, Lawmaster. Skill point with Teclas. Um, so last time we got the Kindle Flame. This time we're going to get the uh, the rune, the Flaming Sword. Your bidding. And actually, no, we're not. We're not going to attack these guys with just this force. That's not going to go well for us, I don't think. Now we could start to build this. And we already moved shelled. And then there's also um, intervention forces. What do we got here? Send an intervention force of low-quality troops. To target the ritual sites. 10,000. Well, we can't really afford that, can we? Clan Moors. So that must... Uh, uh, they must be, like, right around here. No, this is Clan Moors. Okay. Um... Oh, okay. We can't target these ones because they're not performing the ritual. I got it. Clan Moors. Now, is Clan Moors the one that we are at war with? Uh, let's go to Diplomacy. It is. It is Clan Moors. So if we were to go attack Clan Moors... If we were to attack Clan Moors and interrupt their thing, then the last defenders might like us even more. Only costs us two thousand to send a, a force of low quality troops. 
how long do these take to complete? I don't even know. You must restore order. And where are we getting our way fragments from? Getting one from that building, one from this building. We're getting three per turn. It's all from buildings. So which which other building is giving us way fragments? As I expected. Because I was talking about um, destroying a building. Is it this? This doesn't look like it is. Oh, maybe over here. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. It's our it's our capitals. Our capital buildings are giving us the waypoints. Um, you know, let's just end the turn. Damaged walls at the Golden Ziggurat by the Blood Hell Coven. Blood. What are they called? The Blood Hall Coven. Okay. And he's laying siege again. How unexpected. Okay, first order of business 20% experience gain for all spellcasters. No, get over there. All right, let's let's go challenge with Teclas. Do we get everybody? We get everybody. Uh, I think with this time we can just auto resolve it. We're not in danger of losing anything. Victory was assured. Kill them. We got eighteen hundred. We're gonna take um, unit experience again. We're gonna work on getting those chevrons on our troops. These guys are rank one, rank three. Rank two. Our archers are actually ranking up pretty quickly. Now, where is the crown of Safri? Where is this battle? The war crown of Safri. So it's right there. So we could teleport for how much? 500? Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to teleport over there. Now, we're going to merge these two together. We're going to disband this unit. Yep. And then we're going to put... Um... What? Why can't they trade units? Trade units. Why not? I go there. What is the deal here? Yes, exchange units. What is wrong with these guys? Mm. I want to get the quest, but I don't want to like... It says we're going to totally crush them, right? A bunch of clan rats, plague monks, but... I don't trust that stuff all the time. And what does the War Crown do? Ah, it's just good. God, I want that so bad. A noble victory. And our public order. What's our public order look like? Plus six. Ooh. Oh, because of the military crackdown. Ah, for Pete's sake. Okay. All right, this is kind of risky. So what we're going to do We're going to force march Techless North. We're going to go over and try to get the Blood Hall Coven uh, building before they get replenished. That's what we're going to try to do first. We are also going to we're going to demolish some buildings. We're going to demolish the shrine. We're going to demolish the horse stable thingy. We're going to demolish this. Now, what do we get between these? More growth. A little bit more income. A little bit more income from ports.
We get better garrison. Okay, we're going to start building that, too. And then we're going to take uh, Sheld. We'll go get this. And get some armor. Casualty replenish. Okay, there's another one over here. Fell cargo, fell cargo. The other trickster shard. Ooh. A self buff to cause fear and terror, melee attack, and increased weapon damage. Well, not bad. Pretty good, right? Can we move any further? Let's head this way and see if we can get this one. And let's go back over to Teclas. Come on, move a, move a little bit further, buddy. You got a little bit more movement in you. And I guess we're just going to sit tight and end the turn, right? Oh, boy. Now, Lord Skrulk, we are not at war with them. Oh boy, he's setting up outside of our territory. Makes me nervous. Oh, and they're going to go threaten the Chamber of Visions. Gosh darn. Okay, so let's see. Clan Skyre and Clan Peshlins confederated. That's why they're down here. I, I am they dislike us. Here, listen. Grovel prey to... uh, these guys were still improving with them. Oh, you guys are. This is annoying. Give us trade agreements. Get Sudenberg. We got like two turns before we can cancel that. Oh, I don't like these guys creeping up on us over here. And I don't like these guys coming back. And oh, this time they got Blackguard. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, what level is this? We gotta go. We gotta go take their territory, right? We gotta try. We have to try. We're gonna take our cavalry force. We're gonna move it this way. We may need it up here at one of these armies or one of these settlements. I'm not sure which. Cold one chariot. Cold one knights. Oh boy. Cold one spear cavalry. Anti large. So we don't want to charge our cavalry into them. Okay, let's get our infrastructure. Okay, we want public order plus two. Public order plus two. Wait, what was this? No, we can build that anywhere, right? Um, public order plus two. Let's go move shelled. <laughs> See if we get some money here. You know, like a big fat 10,000 would, would do well for us right now. Well, that's okay. 10,000 would be better. And there's a ton of this stuff. Okay. Where to? 
order must be maintained. And we get three light archers if we build garrisons. Cost 2,400. You know, I kind of think we want more... Uh, I kind of feel like we want more uh, income buildings, right? Maybe we should build this. It might make people more likely to trade with us. Okay, let's build that. See how we do with that. Don't know where these guys, these dark elves are going. Okay. And we have an upgrade over here. Okay, let's build this. Oh boy, pushing it close. Imminent rebellion, where? Where? Down here? No. Up here, okay. So, good thing we move this way, right? Okay, end turn. So, cavalry is awfully expensive. Maybe we'd be better off. I don't like these guys. Maybe we'd be better off if we disbanded that cavalry and recruited some spears and whatnot, but um, we don't have any more recruitment buildings. Yes, let's discuss it. Defensive alliance. No, thank you. You guys aren't strong enough to make that worthwhile. Okay, what do they choose? Okay, they're going to go down to the Mud Isles, it looks like. That that kind of sucks, because it's going to take us a long time to get over there and deal with that, isn't it? Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, Rebellion, Hostile Hero Activity. Ooh, which walls? These walls. It would make more sense if you damage the walls where your, uh, where your army's going. But I'm not going to argue. Okay, that's... Boy. Setting sail. Okay, it's going to take us a while to get to this thing. Ah, uh, look how close we are. We need money. We need money desperately. Very well. uh, can we move somewhere where we don't take attrition? Well, I guess we'll just go this way, right? Okay, good. They got a weak army. Harbor, Halls of Ravaging, Guild Halls, Shrine of Cain. Uh, but nothing, nothing ultra special. Okay, we should be able to take that, no problem. Oh my god, look at our attrition is, is terrible. Guardian of the Phoenix Crack. Your orders are reasonable. All right, can we kill these guys on on one turn? Let's try. Let's see what we get here. Clan rat spears, night runners, sclaven singers. Now, what's their range? 140, 120. That's certainly no. Nope, we got the same range. I will leave the All right, let's fight this. Okay. Ah, I guess we just start the battle. Okay, there we go. Clan rat shields, clan rat shields. We don't want to fire at the guys with the shields. Now we do want to fire at the slingers though, right?
Night Runners with slings. Okay, we're doing a little bit of damage to these guys. Okay, let's run away with these fellas. And let's see how much damage we do to Pestilost. A little bit. It's it's really not much. It's not really noteworthy. Okay, let's go get on these slingers a little bit. Okay, we get this. This unit is isolated back here. Okay, and let's see. Where's our hero? Oops, I get caught over here. Okay, these guys are crumbling. Those guys are crumbling. Now let's just hope our Lord can hold up in combat up there, right? Go run them down. There we go. They're all dead. So now we just need to bring our Lord down and um, engage this guy with our Lord and then just overwhelm him with cavalry, right? We'll be done. Okay, and we will unpause it or speed it up. Uh, here we go. Let's get on this guy. And let's just speed it up until he dies, right? These guys aren't moving anymore. These guys are no longer moving. We'll get them down here too. And these guys. And we'll just kill them all. It's taking a long time for him to die, though. Okay. And let's see. In the next, like, three turns, maybe we can get that capital from the Bloodhall Coven. And then their army will be suffering attrition. If, the sooner we get their capital building, the sooner they suffer attrition on the campaign map. And their army will just wither away if they're laying siege to us. And that would actually be good because they have a very strong army. They have black guard, cold ones. I think they have war machines too. Not promising for us. Good grief. How strong is this guy? Where is he even? He's right in here. Kill him already. Come on. How long does it take? And I want to try to get the, the quest battle with Teclas done this episode, but I don't know. I mean, if it's going to take an hour to kill him. And then we got full stacks of Skaven marching through a territory. That's, um, that's worrisome. You know, are they going to turn on us? I have a feeling they're going to turn on us, right? We probably want to take the money for this one. Uh, 1100. Uh, it's, it's nothing. Let's take the unit experience. And 
They ran too far, so let's go sit in the settlement. We'll just get better replenishment, I guess. Can't do anything else. Maybe we... No, we want... um Cavalry Master for this guy, I guess. Uh, these units are expensive. We could save almost a thousand per turn if we dropped these units and got rid of them. Okay, did we do everything we can do? Oh my gosh, we're we're running out of money here so quickly. We're gonna be getting an extra. Uh... Yeah, it's peanuts. Okay. I was going to say, we're we'll going to be getting a little bit extra on the next turn because that building's going to finish, but it's like, it's so little. It just, it amounts to nothing. Uh, the Skaven look like they're happy to just trespass through our territory, and they're probably going to go occupy the runes up to the north. That's good. Defensive alliance. Maybe they want to confederate. Maybe they feel like they're weak. If we... Um, if we enter a, def a defensive alliance with them, then they're less likely to confederate with us because they're like, oh, you know, we're, we're uh, defensive allies with Teclas and he's strong, so we don't need to confederate with them. So we're just going to ignore that. Okay, they're laying siege. And they're going to go damage our walls over here now. Not nice. Okay, oh boy. No, this is not a good time to spend money. Okay, we cannot afford to spend 1500 Um we're not going to be recruiting anything in 5 turns, so this is the this is the best option plus we get influence out of it. Yay. Okay, Sudenberg was destroyed, so we don't get the chance to break our non-aggression pact and declare war on them to gain favor with those other factions. Okay, let's go see what kind of financial boost we may get from Sheld here. Setting sail. Please give us like 10,000. We really need like 10,000. No! Blah. I need money. All right, we'll go. We'll go towards the shipwreck. Okay. Tekla is taking attrition in here. Not enough to get up onto their island, is it? Let's turn the map, the uh, point of view around. Well, let's see. Maybe we can lay siege. If we can lay siege, it prevents them. Okay, come on. All right, well, I don't think they're going to attack us, and hopefully they don't recruit anything. Over here. Chances are this is not going to look good for us. Nope. Oh, boy. Oh, we gotta go wipe these guys out, huh? Yeah. Alright, this is an auto-resolve because we got the garrison as well. Didn't get very much money. Really? They can run again? Alright, let's go uh, Let's go finish them off. The unit experience is nice. Really, really happy about that change. We'll head south. And let's see. Okay. Dispatch me. Do we have any um 
Oh, let's give him this. Oh, public order plus... Whoa, whoa. Yeah, Teclas doesn't need that. He's not even here. Yeah, Teclas doesn't need either of those. I had no idea that Teclas had plus eight followers on him to public order. Diplomacy. Okay, here we go again. Still in... No, it's staying neutral. It's not changing now. Okay, and they're friendly with the bowmen of whatever. Come on. If we could just get a trade agreement, it would really help, wouldn't it? Okay, Teclas can't move. I don't want to merge units. Okay, here we go. And we got 11 turns at the Mud Isles before they're going to attack us, so... As long as they just, um, you know, trespass and don't start war with us, I'm kind of okay with that. Now, what's this look like? Who is this? Oh, they came out to attack us. Okay. Yes, I'm totally fine with this. Um, they got Cold One Knights, armored and shielded, but they do not have any war machines. Okay, we are going to totally wipe the floor with them, right? Right? <laughs> we should. We should totally crush them. There should be no chance of them doing any major damage to us in this fight. And let's see. Understood. As you say. They lack firepower. Spearmen. Archers. Yeah, okay. We're going to gamble. Ten wins of magic. Not good enough for me. Fantastic. Okay, now what's the cooldown on this? 19. So, we really need to just um, destroy the, the Cold One Knights as quickly as we can. Probably with uh, Missile Fire. And the net. Oh my goodness, they're so slow. Now, what does this do? Extremely reduced power recharge? When and where did we get this? Okay, here's our flaming sword. Ha 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 ha. Okay, now where are the cold ones? Um, they're over here on the flank, right? And in the middle. Let's see. Okay, the Cold One Knights are going down. Oh, I don't want to spend that. Now, which way is their infantry going? They're kind of stuck, right? Okay, we're going to have a tough time with the Cold One Knights over here. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to get Teclas over here so we can use the Helm of Discord. Okay, Cold One Knights destroyed. These guys are getting wrecked. 
Okay. Flock of Doom over there. Okay, we're gonna melt these hand bow, hand bow guys. Okay, get in the back of the black guard. Oh boy, cold one knights are still up. Oh, okay. We have to pick somebody for this. But our um, our melee troops are getting wrecked. Okay, they're getting shattered. Those guys aren't shattered yet. Come on, Tech, let's get your um. Oh boy. Come on, we need more magic. We need your helmet to score too. Uh, let's fire into the Black Guard. Or the Black Guard Corsairs. Oh no, not Teclas. Leave Teclas alone. Okay, that was close. Oh boy. Well, the good news is, is if we merge our spears together, we'll save a lot in upkeep. And we should be strong enough to go take the um, take the settlement now. I think we want the replenishment, as small as it is. Okay, we got a another public order uh, follower from Teclas. Finish the technology. Let's go get our next one uh, started ace ASAP. You must restore the Phoenix throne. Defend on the Phoenix throne. Alright, we gotta go south with this guy. Oh man. Okay, so what do we get now? I think I want to get these two before I get anything else. That's going to help us cast a little bit more frequently. Now, if we attack this guy, how much of our movement does it take? Versus if we just straight up attack the settlement. Okay, so what do they got in here? They got black guard. Can we do this with what we got? Hmm. Don't know. My powers are needed here. Okay, let's continue the siege for right now. The gods have spoken. Did we move shelled yet? Nope. Okay, come on. Give us some money, Sheld. Setting sail. Like five, five or ten thousand right now would be okay. Good. Guides us. Big help. Feel my power. Hmm. Okay, let's. Let's merge a couple units, right? That's going to help us with our upkeep. 
Eurofair. For the king. Okay, so battle calls me. Steady hand is uh, what does the map look like? Do we have one of those uh, deployment zones off to the side where we won't take uh, tower fire? I don't think so. I think we're going to get Battle stuck taking tower fire right away. Okay, let's Tread continue the siege. Me. My powers are needed here. Okay, this is the one that allowed us to break the um, the doors. Hmm, boy. Eurofair. I'm just trying to decide. Can we take this on this turn? I don't know. The people are restive. And then let's look at um, building stuff in here. Okay. Let's get public order. And what can we do here? Um, okay, I don't want to build that yet. Now, what was this? This was also public order and income. Oh boy, we're like right back to where we were financially. Oh man, if we could get trade with these guys, it'd give us 500 per turn. All right, let's 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 see how much we have to bankrupt ourselves to do it. Let's try 1,500. We can afford that. Oh, no, we're, uh, we're doing it backwards. <laughs> let's offer a payment, 1,500. Ooh, boy, that grinds my gears. We could spend some influence... Which ones are they? The last defenders. Oh, now it's deteriorating. Oh, no. Oh, look, it reset back down to 12. So maybe when you don't do it for a little while, it gets cheaper. Okay, let's do it. Uh, oh, and it went up to 25. So it's even higher than it used to be. Okay. For the king. Okay, we're going to wait. We're going to siege one turn. These guys, this is their only settlement, so they can't recruit anything. They could try to attack us, in which case they do. The garrison will come out. We can uh, weaken the garrison further on the field. So we're going to skip that. We're going to end the turn, and no matter what, we'll attack them on the next turn. Oh, these guys are getting annoying. No. Okay, Blood Hall Coven. Let's see. What did they do? Please don't attack our settlement. Oh, they broke the siege. Ah, okay. Well, good. <laughs> good. I'm glad they broke the siege. They might go lay siege to our capital then. Maybe. Rating and the, yeah, whatever. Now, how do we look over here? Minus 11. How is it minus 11? Oh, because he's, it's this guy. He's, oh, boy. All right, well, here's what we do then. Let's move him back over. We'll encamp for extra replenishment. And now it's minus two. Oh, man. We still get, like, so little by turning on taxes in that settlement. Okay.
So we basically want to build all four of these. One, two, three, four. And then we wouldn't be able to build anything else, would we? We've already got this. And these could be built in the minor settlements. So. I'm almost tempted to build this for, you know, just a little bit of income because, gosh, do we really need it? We really need it. Um, let's go move shell. Maybe we'll get some extra. Maybe we'll have some money in here. Let's see. Don't really care about that. That that wasn't very good, was it? Okay, they chose not to attack us. So... Alright, let's do this. How come we would have been able to attack last turn, but not this turn? Oh, come on, for Pete's sake. Okay. We'll get ourselves a battering ram. Last turn, it would have let us attack. Maybe that right was still active? I don't think it was active. I'm ready. Foolish request. Mm. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. Somebody trade with us. Okay, now these guys like us a lot. Are they going to next turn? Come on. Yes! Finally, we're not so friggin' poor. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, they're pretty strong. They don't want to do any sort of alliance with us. Okay, good. That helps us a lot. Now, let's look at... They like the bowmen. Now our relationship with them is improving because of treaties with um, the last defenders. So they might be more likely eventually to uh, enter into agreement with us. us. The Phoenix King is wise and merciful. What would you have? Ridiculous. Ulf, I will hear your words, but I make no promises of aid. Understood. Oh, yes. And who are they? Tyrannok and Illyrion and Evisir. I don't know if I yet want a non-aggression pact with them. Too early to decide. At your service. The Phoenix King is wise. Okay, but I would be willing. Oh boy. Oh boy. You called. I think our. Let's hear it. These are high elves also. You are no friend of the Phoenix Court. Okay. Can I offer assistance? Oh, they have trade Your agreements with them. Okay, let's see. The How wise. There we go. I wish it would quit resetting the order. Um, let's let's sort it by na uh, race. Okay, Avalor. I will hear your petition. And consider it if you wish. Yes, look at this. We're doing great. Lord of the Phoenix Court. I'm listening. Okay, these guys hate us because we entered into trade agreements with everybody else. You state your case quickly, lest I tire of your voice. But we I may, we I may finally come out of here, back onto the campaign map, and have a positive income return. Black. I have many excellent torture devices. Would you care to see them? Let's look. Okay, well that's a lot better, right? That's a lot better. Now I feel better about going in and um, let's say upgrading that. Yes, okay. Alright, now we'll end our turn. Okay, so that is going to be a big help for us. Finally, we got some trade agreements. Good grief. And um, because of our high elf racial bonus, 
we get to see everything that happens inside their territories too. No, get out of here. No peace treaty for you. We're going to finally take your settlement. So who is that? Is that Dark Elves? I wasn't paying attention up here. I didn't see who it was. How dare you seek me out. Ooh, skate. What? From across the map. Okay, well, whatever. Hopefully they don't show up on our shores in a few turns. Present in regions during building construction. So that's how you get this. Just by being in the in the uh, region while you're building stuff. I've always wondered. It's so cool that they, they finally show us. Because <laughs> I've always wondered. All right, let's see here. Can we do this this episode? Uh, or Yeah, we can. We're going to get this done. Okay. Let's go in here and crush these guys. Okay, so do we want to gamble? That's where they come on the battlefield. Um, I don't think we need to gamble. So we'll start deployment. And... You know, there seems to be a few less towers over here on this side. So... Maybe we'll just deploy over here. It also seems to me like we can hide better back here in these trees. And Teclas. Well, uh, Teclas is awfully weak, right? Oh boy. I'm making my way. Oh boy, we're taking some hefty damage there. I hope that this war machine 4% damage. I hope it can get all the way there. Oh man. Teclas is taking some pretty hefty damage, too. I think it's going to get there. It's only at 5%. And then Black Art Corsairs. So let's see. Now, can they fire? I don't think they can fire. I don't see any firing arcs on the ground from them. Oh, man. We're going we're gonna to take a lot of casualties getting this done, aren't we? Yeah, we're doing okay there. Um, got a little bit of time before that's available. Blackguard. Let's see how much damage that does to all this stuff over here. Doesn't really look like it did much, huh? Come on, little phoenix thing. Torch him. Really? Not happy about that. Not happy at all. That was just stupid. Alright, let's see here. Who are our strongest um, missile units right now?
Let's give all those guys run orders and get them over there. All right, gate damage is at 50%. Actually very effective. Oh boy, now these guys are taking a ton of missile fire. All right, we'll drop this thing again. The gate is open, but we don't want to go inside yet, huh? No, we do not. Oh boy. Come on, archers, get over here. Okay, let's just speed it up until the archers get over here. Turn off their um, fire at will. Are you guys... Yeah, like, why would you want to run? Okay, it's fine if we lose some units because they are going to have all their ammunition. That's kind of the more important of the two. And as soon as we cast the flaming sword, or as soon as we cast anything on them... Um, all the AI is going to be debuffed for fire damage, right? So we want to... Okay, so now these guys should be debuffed for a few seconds. Let's see what happens here. Holy moly! It just got melted. Okay, I like that. And, oh, we got firing arcs on all this over here. Okay, good. So we're basically going to get this done with the archers, right? They all have... Um, okay, good. They're switching targets to these guys. Yeah. Look at that. Now, the black guard's going to be a little bit harder. Although, are they halberds? I don't know what they are. And these guys are hanging back, way back by the capture point. Okay. Our archers have decided that they're done firing. Is that how this works? Okay. And then, um, hmm. I think we just want to wait and use the sword again. As soon as they stop moving and start firing. Okay, so let's see. Okay, doing good. Yeah, this is good. Okay, and then these guys are dying here too. Okay. Alright, so that's these spears. So I think we can maybe bring these spear units up over here. Because this tower is not going to be manned for much longer. Um, okay, please shoot the guys that are manning the tower, would you? Ooh, the black guard is broken. Okay. Now, let's get some guys up on the walls. Stop firing. Fire at the black guard again. I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to take this, right? Yeah, these guys are getting... Okay, they just died. Okay, nothing to challenge us on the towers. How we're going to kill this guy, I don't know yet. Let's wait till we get up on the walls. Okay, we'll speed it up. Now, who is this? Black Art Corsair is coming back. OK, 
Okay, they just got wiped out. Okay, now what's their lord gonna do? What happens if we put these guys like here and here? Does their lord decide he wants to go up and fight with them? Doesn't look that way. Okay, but we might be able to fire from the walls and hit the lord. Let's see if they can... Yeah, they can hit him. Okay. Now he's totally debuffed against fire, so he should actually die really fast. Okay, he's broken, but not dead. Then we want to go up with Teclas. Okay, shattered. Good. Let's bring these guys in. I'll bring these archers in behind them. We'll make the archers run. The spearmen can walk. Okay, and then we'll get these guys off the walls, I guess. And Teclas. So I don't think they really have anything back there anymore that can uh, really threaten us. Let's put Teclas right in the middle. And so what we'll do is we'll take all of these guys, all right, and we'll just um, march them forward here. See if we get greeted by anything. Okay. So far, so good. Now, do we want to move this way with Teclas? Yeah, I think we do. Now, what I'm curious to see is if there's gonna be units that suddenly appear up here. No. Okay. For duty, it will be done. Archers, move. We advance. We will obey. Orders received. For us defending order. Forward. Okay, here we go. This is going to be the big walloping. Watch the cold one nights just get evaporated. Look at that. Yeah, broken. Get out of here. All right, look at that. How good are we at this game? <laughs> okay. It was a long episode. Uh, we didn't have time to do Teclas' quest battle. That'll have to happen on the next episode after we do some recruitment. But we got some trade agreements. Uh, the Blood Hall Coven is going to be suffering attrition in our territory unless they're raiding or encamped. Um, we're looking good. We're making some progress here. Right, we're making some progress. We're having a little bit of problems with uh, public order, but oh, oh my gosh, 10k, raise it. Mm. 
Loot and Occupy. 5k. Alright, and what do we do here? Oh, look, we got the Shrine of Assyrian in, in here. Ah, that's good. That's good. Got some trinkets. Got a port. And how... F God, this is really far away. We could pop a Lord up and go over there in a couple turns, I think, and go get that. Uh, Teclis has got a skill point. I want... Life Leeching? Smoke and Mirrors. Life Leeching. Improved power recharge rate when casting. We want Teclis to just be spamming magic constantly, right? Okay, damage building. End turn. Uh, shield has not moved. Ooh, okay. Let's, let's see if uh, this is close enough to get this. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Go back to Teclas. And we are going to go ahead. We're going to end our turn. Ooh, do I want to build something yet? Oh, okay. Wait, let, let's look. Do we want to start building stuff? Oh boy, the archive cannot be constructed in minor settlements. 5,000 though. Hmm. Oh boy. It's so tough to decide. Income from entertainment buildings. So which buildings are entertainment buildings? Okay, amphitheater. I guess that's entertainment. Oh boy, unlocks cultural advancements. Okay, you know what? We're gonna um we're gonna start building this. And we're gonna build this. We're we're just we're gonna get these two done, okay? These these are big buildings, uh, but they're gonna help us if we can get these early in the campaign. I don't want a repeat of my Scarsnet campaign where I'm running around forever with no good buildings and I can't recruit or get anything. Um, this is gonna help us with the cultural advancements unlock, and then this one over here is gonna be good um, because we can get the military advancements and whatnot. Okay. Let's end the turn. Let's see what the AI does. And then that's going to be the end of this episode. So let's see what's this person going to do. Yeah, they're going to lay siege, right? And this one, gonna lay siege too, I bet. Or wants to lay siege. As soon as they um, get close enough. War declared. We got some AI factions declaring war on each other. Okay. And Scaling, who is at war with us. And apparently a lot stronger too. Okay, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time and have a good afternoon.